Hello everyone, I'm Owen Phoenix and welcome to Planet Coaster. I'm going to start a new world, new challenge world. Now, I had quite a few comments, or I had a few comments anyway, on my triggers video, uh, basically asking for more tutorials, but I don't really know what to do, because one of the things that they've done in the new patches is they've added an awful lot more help. So, a lot more of that information is there for you. Um, and I did a few test videos just to sort of see how things worked, but I don't know, it it just wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't snappy enough, and yeah, so th what I thought I would do instead is do a challenge map, and I'd do, do a sort of a series, I guess, and this will probably change, but I'm sort of more looking at Planet Coaster uh, in a little bit more depth than I, well, I did it on stream, but I know a little bit more now, so maybe it's maybe it's worth doing. And especially as I've done a couple of stranded deep videos, and I've got another one that I'm need to need to record. But you know, just looking at the game in a little bit more depth, but not in very long segments either. So grasslands. Well, yeah, we'll just call it grasslands. It's like a medium. So this should be a reasonably large grassy map and um, because it's in challenge mode well I've got to deal with um, a, an awful lot more sort of management style of thing than I would need to do with sandbox so it can be a little bit more interesting in that regard so yeah I'm basically going to start with paths and get the these paths down I mean something like grassland. I mean, it's it, this is very much like the um, the sandbox world that I had. So yeah, they've added a load more help style of things. So we've got basic controls, and also I've seen that when you build, um, yeah. So again, when when you build things, you actually get uh, control. So if you hold shift, it goes up and down. Um, you can rotate it using Z. Um, can cancel your placement, confirm your placement, and you can show more controls as well. So you can, so that, so that, so space will do rotation, snap, um, hitting shift will reset, and you can do a sort of a lock to axis as well. So that's really useful. Uh, that's a really nice addition. Uh, so we'll do that, and we'll. Get a nice long queue because this is always going to be a very popular ride. Now, if you if you suffer from like OCD, um, these videos may be a little bit hard on you. I don't exactly go for exactness, put it that way. But I thought you know it, this is sort of more. Uh, this game, you can go very, very exact. You can't get your, your angles snapping and all that in your paths. Or you can go slightly more um, uh, crazy, as it were. Plus, if you do this, then you get a certain amount of room for your scenery as well. Right, I need to do another, put in another ride. Um, now, what I've found with management is that what you want to do you don't want to worry too much about getting roller coasters in because they're not going to make a huge amount well they are going to make money but they're not going to make the sort of the volumes that you need in order to keep going so what you need to do really is get your um, your rides in the things that people are going to want to go to and then deal with roller coasters and the like later on and especially things like scenery scenery is expensive um, it's really good because it's going to improve the value of your rides but it it's expensive to to put a load of stuff in so even when i'm putting in my shops i'm not really going to be detailing them that much i'm going to be putting in my chief beef obviously because that will make me a fair amount of money and also I want to put it in somewhere where there's enough room around it so that I can build around it later on but um, 
I'm not really going to detail it too much. And the same with milkshakes. I'm going to also obviously want your milkshake stand in there because people get thirsty. But I'm not going to want to detail it. And toilet block would be the last one. Something you can do with toilet block, which I do always do, is um, where was it? Uh, if you go in there, just, just charge a little bit for the use of the toilets. So you can do things like imp improve the um, uh, the you can increase the ride how much you you charge in the rides, and you can also I'm going to put in a, a little bit of a ticket price as well. It's not going to be much, so it's going to be standard ticket is going to be fifty cents, and a family is going to be thirty. It's not much. People will happily pay that and it will get my profit up slowly obviously when you start off with this uh, you don't have an awful lot of rides you don't have an awful lot of shops things you can really do all of that is unlocked through your research and one of the things you don't have at the start is the ATM so these people are going to be coming in and they're going to be spending money but they've only got a finite amount of money but we should have enough stuff down here for people to, you know, they've got some rides to go on. They've got toilet facilities, drinking facilities and food facilities. And that should be fine for the vast majority of people and it will suck people in. Uh, so we've got some money. We are now making some money, which is good. So now what we want to do is start actually making the ride's a little bit more interesting to walk through. So this is a mess, ultimately, at the moment. We haven't got sort of areas set up yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another path in here, I think. Down this way. It's just going to be a dead-end path for the moment. Ooh, and before I forget... The thing that you need, you really, really do need these things. Bin. So otherwise your park is going to get very messy. And at the start you don't really want to be dealing with um, janitors too much because they are quite expensive. Especially starting out. So yeah, just some bins around the park so people can throw their rubbish. I might put one down here as well. I like that you can put it either on the path or off the, off the path, and I put an awful lot of my stuff stuff off the path. So let's get some scenery down. You can do a fair amount of scenery, and so this is sort of more steampunk, I guess. So let's have um, an oil pump. Let's start off with an oil pump. So it's quite a nice large piece of scenery. It'll cover quite a bit. And it starts to turn this into a more, I guess, Wild West steampunk type of thing. People will go on this ride. It's a really popular ride. Definitely worth doing that one. It's Psychola. And this one, again, the Whirly Gig. Quite a popular ride. And um, you'll get, yeah, you'll get people going on it. You'll get a bit of profit. I mean, it's only just gone down, so... Yeah, we're making 400 a month now. So, yeah, this is the game so far. Uh, this is just a very, very quick 10 minute start. Um, I'm now going to go off camera. I'm going to make a little bit more money. And pro probably plonk down some more rides here and there. So next time we see it, I'll then do some more sort of detailing types of things. And be spending an, uh, probably an awful lot of time sort of detailing these areas because one thing that you can do is if these th if, if these areas are near a queue it's going to add to the queue value the queue scenery value so just a quick thing with scenery value if I go to Psychola go to overview you'll see queue scenery rating is 1% now if I was to put a shop down and actually detail it up that would help the queue scenery rating Plus, it would also bring in a little bit more money um, from whatever thing I just put down. 
So yeah, I'm going to go away and do that now. So build up the park a little bit. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit.